as we continue to explore this issue of electability and the governance. Um, Ms. Chalia, you ran for the Ginger Woman MP seat in 2011 on an FDC ticket. You worked for President Museveni and the NRM government after agreeing not to contest your electoral loss in the courts. You promised to campaign for a DP candidate in the current race for the seat and are now running as an independent presidential candidate while jointly campaigning with Joseph Mabirizi, the candidate of the Independence Coalition. So, how do you respond to people who might see this quite long and arduous journey as a sign of someone who is unreliable and unprincipled? Uh, thanks so much for that question. Uh, first and foremost, um, I'm not a politician. Um, by, I'm a social worker, more of a social worker than a politician. So when I set out to work for this country in 2007, I was working quietly. Um, the lady who brought international calling down in this country, I put a force on Air, um, MTN and Airtel and just brought in low international calling at 500, they went down. I have been working underground all those years. I didn't need to come to the front line. I came to the front line because there was extreme poverty in my region, which is Busoga region, and that is why I stood for woman member of parliament. Yes, I went to court. Yes, I won. But no, I did not say in court that I was living. The Nadia question Agnes. is, does this point to you as being a little wishy-washy? This, okay. Can I please answer the question? Yeah. When I worked in Busoga, the first thing I did was a research, which is online. If you enter my name, you can get it. I realized the issues of the people in the region. And after that, I came back to my boss, the president of this country, presented my report and presented the solution. And instead of addressing the problem, I was actually suppressed and oppressed. And I'm, I'm sorry, but you're telling us why you moved and not what that says about you. The no, question I, I, is... When you make decisions like that, how can you tell people that this is what I stand for? Why should they believe you when you okay. say that this is what you believe? Let me take you a moment backwards. I went to court in December 2011. On the 29th of December 2011, I was dying for my life. I was actually in coma. I practically went in coma for two days. When I came back, I was too ill I could not continue with politics. All right. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I think that perhaps we're not really getting to the bottom of the reason I asked that question, but thank you. We'll move on. Dr. Kiza Besige, 